for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi, Luis. Hi, teacher. Hi, good How evening. Good evening. How are you today? Uh, um, tired, so-so. Uh, a, a little tired. <laughs> a little tired, okay. So for the this weekend, do you work on Saturday? Uh, yes, I do. <laughs> I do work Saturday work? until... Uh, noon? Hasta mediodía? Yeah, until, until noon. noon. Uh, yes. Oh, okay, so you work until noon and then you're going to be able to rest. That's okay. So just... Um, a little, little effort and you will be free to rest. ¿Cómo va con la plataforma? ¿Ya avanzó los ejercicios? ¿Ya logró um, ponerse al día? ¿O ya la terminó? Finish. Finish. Awesome. Excellent. Ya me dieron el diploma también. <laughs> oh, really? ¿Ya lo descargó? Sí, ya lo descargué. Ah, ok. Excelente. Revisó que todo estuviera bien. Su nombre, las sí. fechas. Sí, sí. Ah, ok. Perfecto. So you're done with the platform. Ya es libre de, de ejercicios y, y demás. So, um, vamos a empezar. Leí por ahí que algunos este, eh, ya de hecho son poquitos los que se conectan y algunos tienen eh, problemas. Entonces, bueno, ni modo. Tenemos que seguir con el programa y ayer nos quedamos acá, ¿verdad? Estábamos eh, con el eh, pasado simple en preguntas y haciendo un repasito corto de lo que discutíamos ayer con la estructura de las preguntas eh, decíamos primero va el auxiliar did luego colocamos el sujeto luego el verbo lo vamos a mantener en presente porque pues ya está el auxiliar did ahí so no necesitamos modificar el verbo y el complemento al final el signo de pregunta para responder dijimos vamos a hacerlo de forma afirmativa diciendo yes I did y si es negativo no I didn't y luego cuando proveamos detalles adicionales haciendo oraciones afirmativas vamos a modificar el verbo a pasado con esta información eh, quisiera que complete el ejercicio que está ahí, que es nada más de ir, um, bueno, si es pregunta, sabemos que necesitamos colocar el auxiliar al principio y luego pues el verbo tal cual, ¿verdad? Sin conjugarlo. Así que leyendo eso vamos a completar estas tres conversaciones. Si no ha impreso el material, lo puede hacer en su cuaderno, no hay problema. Yo le voy a dar tiempito para que complete el ejercicio. Ok.
Have you finished? No. No. Yes. Okay. Um. Let's check your work. I. Sorry. Okay. Um. Let us check. Uh. How do you complete the first one? It says, "Did you have a good summer?" Yes. Uh, I did. I had a great summer. I went. I went to the beach a lot. Okay, very good, excellent. I I had a great summer. I went to the beach a lot. Very good. Now the number two. Number two is. Uh, did you take? Did you go anywhere last summer? 
Uh, no, I didn't. I stayed here. I got a part-time job. So I made some, some extra money. Aha, uh -huh, excellent. Here you have the answers and they are correct. Good, now the number three. Number three, do you take any class last summer? Uh, yes, I did. I took tennis lesson and I played tennis every day. Excellent. And finally, the number four. Number four, uh, do you speak English last summer? No, I didn't, but I read English book and and I watch TV, yeah, I watch English movies. Excellent. So here we have the answers. Now, as we just we, uh, you can ask me the questions and I'm going to um, answer using this information first. Ask me the questions. You start. Read, read es, eh, uh -huh. regular verbs. Eh, solo uh, hacerme las preguntas y yo le contesto eh, las cuatro conversaciones y luego cambiamos. Okay. Did you? Do you have a. Uh, no, no veo. Good. <laughs> es que está bien chiquito. <laughs> por el cuadrito de la respuesta. Tal vez lo puedo mover a. Acá. Hacia la, la derecha. Más, ahí, pues sí. Ok. Did you, have, did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to the beach a lot. Uh, did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. I got a part-time job, so I made some extra money. Ok, uh, did you take any classes? Last summer? Yes, I did. I took tennis lessons and played tennis every day. Okay. Uh, did you speak English last summer? No, I didn't, but I read English book and I watched English movies. Okay. Now I'm going to ask the questions and you answer. Did you have a good summer? Okay. Yes, I, yes, I did. I had a great summer. I went to, to the beach a lot. Okay, let's repeat this word, great. A great, a great uh -huh. summer. Okay. Great summer, good. Solo yeah. esa, solo esa hay que reforzar, great. Great summer. Okay, let's continue number two. Did you go anywhere last summer? No, I didn't. I stayed here. I, I got a party time job so i made some extra money did you take any class last summer yes i did i took tennis lesson and i played tennis every day did you speak english last summer no i didn't but i read english books and i watched Excellent. Very good, Luis. Usted hizo un muy buen trabajo con la gramática y también con pronunciación. Solo una palabrita tuvimos que reforzar. Excellent. Okay. You did it good. So, um, vamos a continuar. Creo que seguimos siendo solo dos en el grupo. Sí, <ríe> <Qué> veo. <terrible. ríe> ok, vamos a ver cómo estamos con el vocabulario. Um, este es el Word Power Summer Activities. Este video está en la plataforma y pues tenemos que poner uh, las dos palabras de la lista que van con cada verbo. Eh, tenemos los primeros hechos con los verbos get, go, have, meet, play y take. Dos palabras acompañan estos verbos. Por ejemplo, con get. Eh, no podemos poner camping, no podemos poner a class, fun, o otra de estas palabras. La que sweet perfect with get is a job in a new bike. 
y ya están uh, chequeadas acá, ya no las podemos volver a utilizar. So, get a job y get a new bike. Sabemos que esto siempre está relacionado con lo que es obtener. So, obtener un buen un trabajo o una nueva bicicleta. De sí. los que están ahí, hay que ver cuáles dos palabras irían con go, have, meet, play y take. Le voy a dar chance para que haga el ejercicio en su cuadernito y luego revisamos. Ok, gracias. Ok. Finished. No, no. Okay, more time. Finish. Okay, what do you have with the verb go? Uh, I think that camping and swimming. I think you are correct. 
<laughs> Let's see. Uh, here we have the answers. Go camping and swimming. That is correct. Now with have, what do you have with this verb? Have a class and have a picnic. Uh, <laughs> partially correct. <laughs> El decir divertirse va con have, la palabra diversión. Have fun y have a picnic. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you have with meet? Meet uh, new people or friends? Completely correct. New people yes. and all friends. Um, play. Play softball. In volleyball. Uh huh. That is correct. Play softball and play volleyball. Now take. Take a, in this case a, a trip in the courts a, is a class. Take a trip and take a class. Uh huh. Uh huh. That is completely right. Excellent. Now um. To practice a little bit more of speaking, we have this activity and uh, we can practice this, these questions and uh, starting with did you, then sure. select anything from the list and complete with last summer. Like for example, I can ask you, did you, did you go anywhere interesting last summer, Luis? Go to summer. Uh, I don't remember exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, vaya, pregúnteme usted a mí esta. Did you? Did you uh, go anywhere interesting last summer? Yes, I did. I went to, um, la verdad que no salí, pero tengo que intentar algo. <laughs> yes, I did. I went to, um, to Los Cobanos. Okay. Yes, Is, I did. I went uh, to Los Cobanos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what about you? Did you go anywhere interesting that summer? Yes, I do. I visited uh, uh, Lake Alegría. The Lake Alegría. I have heard. Okay, nice. Ya he escuchado hablar de ese lago. It's very interesting. <laughs> Where is it? ¿En qué departamento es? En Usulután. Oh, yeah, Oriente. Nice. Espero que haya comprado tamales. Son súper buenos. <laughs> Pero, eh, eh, Usulután. Uh -huh. It's, it's very hot. It's very hot, yes. But, uh, but this, uh, in this place, it, Alegria is very uh, fun, it's uh, very cold. Oh, the weather in Alegria is cold. It's, okay. ah. Yes. yes. Interesting. Interesting. Nice. Okay, now let's continue. Did you? Did you read any books last summer? Uh, no, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. I know I I never read any book. Oh, you didn't you didn't read any books. Oh, okay. Now you can ask a question to me. Okay. Did you buy anything interesting last summer? Yes, I did. I bought a new chair for my desk. Okay. What about you? Did you buy anything interesting last summer? Yes, I do. I buy. Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. 
Y yes, acuérdense que ahí sería el pasado de buy. ¿Cuál es? Uh, I bought. Excellent. I bought. I bought. Uh, Spare parts. Se la voy a poner en el chat. Ahí está. Spare part. Spare, uh, spare part for the car. For a car. For the car. For the car. For the car. For, the car, for my for, car. Uh, for, uh, to fix this. To fix your car. Fix. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you invest a lot of money there. <laughs> you know, it's not more interesting, but it's very important. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's it's important, and yes, it can be somehow, yes, um, not interesting, but yes, it's, it's important to have your car in excellent conditions to okay. prevent accident. So it's important and it's interesting. <laughs> yes. Yes. See. Yes. So nice. Um, now, uh, let's see. Now it's your turn to ask me. Okay. Do you last do you play any game last summer? No, I didn't. Or wait, wait a minute. Yes, I played the uh, um yes I did. I played the uh, Super Mario Bros. with my kids. Okay. Yes, and obviously <laughs> they won. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You no. lose. Yes, I'm not good at playing games. I like them, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so um, did you take any trips last summer? Thank you. Uh, yes, I did. Uh, I took. A trip? Uh, oh no. Say so, yeah, you can say I took um I took a trip to I took to to the beach. Oh, you took a trip to the beach. That's yes. yes. Nice. I, a lot of fun. I it's very uh, I live in I live in Sacate Coluca. Yeah, very circa near. Near, near. uh-huh. Yeah. It's yeah. near to the beach. Yes. In 30 minutes, I go, <laughs> I went there. I arrive or I get there. So, so it's, it's near to the beach. I get uh, or I got uh, no, but this is es algo que siempre le toma, so ahí se puede decir como en presente. I get there in thirty minutes. Thirty minutes, okay. So you say I get there in thirty minutes. I think Perdón por yeah. las mayúsculas, la vamos a quitar. I get there in thirty minutes. Ahí le escribí en el chat. Yes, I think. Uh -huh. It's near to the beach. I get there in 30 minutes. That's really, really near. Yes. Okay, now you can ask me. Did you, did you eat any new foods last summer? Yes, I did. I ate camotes en miel. That's typical food. No podemos cambiar el nombre. <laughs> So I ate camotes en miel. I didn't like them. <laughs> Too sweet. Okay. Demasiado dulce. Mm -hmm. uh, now I'm going to ask you. Um, did you did you meet any interesting people last summer? Uh. 
interesting, uh, maybe no, <laughs> but I I met you. I met. I met. Uh, I met some friends with my family. Oh, you met with your family. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Now, the other thing that we have there, it's a reading. Ya para terminar la plataforma, solo queda la lectura, me parece. I think so. Just let me stop sharing this and start sharing the platform. Okay, that's it. modo completo. Teacher, and when do you work? I'm sorry? When do you work? When or where? Uh -huh. When or where? Where's it? Um, I work at um, the Office Gurus. It's a call center. Mm -hmm. And also at Inglés Corporativo. Okay. So yes, during the day, I am working for uh, the Office Gurus. We are still working from home. And uh, at night, teaching here at Inglés Corporativo. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Hey, I, I have, I have, sorry, uh, en pasado, I has, no. En pasado, had, si I es. Ha, I had the idea that you work in, in the airport. At the uh, airport. Like, like a flight attendant. <laughs> <laughs> I wished. <laughs> yes, and I applied uh, like many years ago. I, I applied at DACA, but uh, they, okay. um, they asked me that the, one of the requirements was to have the American visa. And I didn't have it. So they said, okay, but let's see what we can do for you. So you can uh, get a visa and then we're going to call you, but they never did. Okay. Now I have it, but I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not interested on being a flying attendant anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so they lost me. <laughs> They lost the opportunity <laughs> to have me there. Yes, but no, I've never worked in an airport. I okay. want it, but yeah, not anymore. Some people say, I saw you. I'm sure that you work in a bank and I never work in a bank. <laughs> so no sé, anda algún doble mío por ahí haciendo relajo. <laughs> so, but yes, let's see. Okay, here it is the video about the weekend stories. Let's see if we can get some practice here or vocabulary. Okay. I'm, my friends took me. We left. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article title Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly. I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her. And I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, our car broke down. I called my parents and they came and got us. We finally got home at 10 this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. 
I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. And Hi, Angelica. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Uh, very busy, teacher. Very busy. Do you get in the traffic? Yes. I'm swimming, no drive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you were sailing to home, even navegando a casa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> It rained uh, heavy right now, right? Yes, it's horrible, teacher. I know. I imagine the traffic is a problem, and when it's raining, it increases. Yes. So, but fortunately, you're here. So, uh, we were about to finish the section number four, and the last thing that we have there is the reading exercise. And I would like to know if uh, it's there any new vocabulary or something from these readings that you would like to discuss. Okay. Or maybe Liz also, uh -huh. any question about the vocabulary in this reading? Uh, okay, uh, in the vocabulary, uh, Kelly. Uh, the pronunciation of look. She looked, el pasado looked. de look, looked. Finish in T or tea? in T. She in looked tea. fantastic. Looked. 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 Yes, looked. she looked uh, fantastic. Word. Uh, Word es el pasado de. Ahorita les escribo ahí. Where. Que es lo okay. que uno lleva puesto, lo que va vistiendo. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces ella vistió. Uh, she wore a beautiful dress. Ella vistió un bonito vestido. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, and, and Robert, uh, yeah, broke is, is meaning uh, sorry, no. Uh -huh. Sí, algo, por ejemplo, si se le quedó el carro en el camino, the car broke down. Es unido, el car broke down. Ajá, uh -huh. our car uh, yeah. broke down. Broke el down. broke down uh, es el pasado, en presente es break down, el pasado, uh, eh, cuando a uno se le arruina el carro down. casi siempre sería en pasado. The car broke down. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, por ejemplo, de repente la mala suerte, ¿verdad? este con uno iba de camino al trabajo y se quedó el carro, entonces I am, I say, uh, yeah, I was on my way to work, but the car broke down. Okay. El carro se arruinó. Mm -hmm. Anything else with this vocabulary? Uh, in, in the earring, earring, the earring, uh, uh -huh. the word tent. A uh, tent es en la tiendita, un tienda de campaña, como las, um, Así se llaman esas como casitas de... Como camping. De camping, camping. ajá, tent, las oh, tiendas. Okay. Uh -huh. Tienda de campamento creo que se llama. Uh -huh. sí, tienda de campaña. Ah, ya, yeah, ya, yeah. tienda de campaña, eso es un eh, tent. Uh -huh. eh, the pronunciation eh, the bear, cow, caught, caught a fish. This. Oh, we caught, caught. 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 Um, uh, caught. Caught. Para que no suena como cortar. Caught. Caught. Says, caught. Uh, caught largo, a fish. Mm -hmm. Caught. Okay. 
Recuerden la lista de los verbos, practiquenla. Ese es uno de los que están ahí, que es atrapar. Vea. Atrapé un pescado, un pez. I caught a fish. So, yes, remember to practice, especialmente igual. Y si tienen tiempo después de que las clases terminan, siempre hay un break antes de que empiece el otro módulo. Traten de aprovechar ese tiempo y practicar, aunque sea un ratito. Para que no se les quite la costumbre, ¿verdad? No es como que, ay, qué chivo, y no voy a tener clase, me acuesto a las nueve en punto y ya. Por lo tanto, decir, a las nueve yo estaría en clase, voy a practicar aunque sea diez minutos, de las nueve no, a sí. las nueve y diez. <ríe> para que no pierdan la costumbre. Sí, se olvida, ¿verdad? Se, se olvida. Se tiene como olvidarse, ¿verdad? Y se acomoda uno, es como que ya sí, después del sí. siguiente módulo, y, ay, qué pereza. Sí. Angélica, ¿any question? No, teacher. Ok. So, uh, con esto terminaríamos la sección 4. Espero que ya uh, tengan completo los ejercicios. No sé si hay alguna, Angélica, que todavía tenga por completar o que le esté dando problema. Uh, no, en este momento, I... Okay. I was in the last session last session and the last section in the number five yes okay good the number five it's about the simple past of the bird b so um i sent the presentation over it is not complete <coughs> no está completa porque creo que le voy a agregar más cosas so pero vamos a ver el primer video First, we need to add a subject, I. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements using the past of be. Additionally, we'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I was born in Korea. Let's listen and practice. I was born in Korea. Where were you born, Melissa? I was born in Korea. Oh, so you weren't born in the U.S.? No, I came here in 1999. Hmm, you were pretty young. Yes, I was only 17. Did you go to college right away? No, my English wasn't very good, so I took English classes for two years first. Well, your English is really good now. Thanks, your English is pretty good too. Yeah. But I was born here. Let's take a look at the statements on this chart now. Statements with the past of B. I was born in Korea. I wasn't born in the U.S. You were pretty young. You weren't very old. She was 17. She wasn't in college. We were born in the same year. We weren't born in the same country. They were in Korea in 1998. They weren't in the U.S. in 1998. Contractions. Wasn't equals was not. Weren't equals were not. We can follow this formula to form positive statements in the past with be. Subject plus was or where plus complement. We need to remember the following. For the pronouns you, we, and they, we will use where. And for the pronouns I, he, she, and it, we will use was. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I was born in Korea. First we need to add a subject, I. Then we will use the verb to be in the past, was, 
finally we will include a complement born in Korea let's do one more example we were born in the same year first we need to add a subject we then we will use the verb to be in the past where finally we will include a complement born in the same year now let's talk about making negative statements in the past with be we can follow this formula to form negative statements in the past with be subject plus wasn't or weren't plus complement let's analyze a couple of negative examples I wasn't born in the US first we need to add a subject I then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form wasn't I would like to point out that this is the same as saying was not but we will typically use contractions finally we include a complement born in the US let's analyze one more example they weren't in the US in 1998 first we need to add the subject day then we will use the verb to be in the past in its negative form weren't I would like to point out that this is the same as saying we're not but we will typically use contractions finally we include a complement and the US in 1998 now it's your turn to practice making positive and negative statements in the past would be about yourself friends and family after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums and is there any question about the video that we just watched No, teacher. Teacher, no. Uh, teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, uh, the, the, the past tense was uh, include he, she, I, in it. Mm -hmm. Yes, the uh, past of B, it is like in the present, it is the verb B, it is conjugated into am, um, is, are. In the simple past, it is just was and were. Was is used for the subject I, he, she, it. Where? ¿A quién le importa la tercera persona que se llama? No, la segunda persona sería. La segunda persona segunda va persona. con where es you, you were. Ah, tercera sería. Ajá. Él, la, él o es, ella o eso. Ellos, sí. La tercera persona singular y también la primera, la Ajá. primera es I. Entonces con esas se usa was. Y con you, we y they se usa where. Y este, no es igual que el, eh, por ejemplo, el verbo eh, do, que I do y el otro es she, he does, ¿verdad? Yes, es igual. Ajá, por ejemplo, con I, con el do se utiliza con... Um, Bueno, eso es diferente. Do, uh, I, es, I, you, we, they, etc. Y el does solamente con he, she, it. Uh, así, en este caso, no son iguales. Bro. No son el iguales. Uso no, es igual. no, no es igual. El, el, el uso, el con qué sujeto va a ir conjugándose, no, no es igual. Mm, en todos los casos. Ok. okay. Muy bien. Uh, any other question? Mm, 
Es importante que aclaren todas las preguntas que, que, que les surjan. Por ejemplo, pues podría ser, vea que uno diga, ah, no, es que si es siempre tercera persona, va a ser, van a ir juntos como en un paquete, vea. Okay. Es, es diferente, por ejemplo, ya con ahora el, el, el pasado de B, nos damos cuenta que no solo es la tercera, vea, ni, ni podemos decir, ah, es que todos los singulares van a ir con was. Y todos los plurales con where, porque you, acordamos, eh, you es singular, pero también tiene uso plural. En el caso de you, como tiene ambos, el you se puede usar en nada más con where, se va como en la colada de los plurales. Y no es que porque, ah, si uso you como segunda persona, entonces va a ser was. No, no es correcto. El you, si lo usa como segunda persona o como el plural ustedes, en ambos casos lo va a usar con where. Gracias. Uh -huh. Sí, pues tiende a, quizás ya en la práctica podría tender a confundir. ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Sí, por eso es importante tener bien claro que was va a ser utilizado cuando el, el sujeto sea I, he, she, it. Y where va a ser utilizado cuando el sujeto sea we, you y they. Ok. Uh -huh. ¿Algo otra pregunta? Okay. Y recuerden que este es como, como si separamos el pasado en dos partes. Que está el pasado simple que acabamos de ver, que es con todos los verbos, cualquier acción que no sea hacer o estar, es uno. Ahora el pasado con el verbo be es otro. Significa que no vamos a utilizar otro verbo que no sea hacer o estar. Y tampoco vamos a poner el auxiliar did. No sé si me expliqué. Repeat, please. Es como, o sea, dicen, acabamos de ver el pasado y hoy estamos en otra sección viendo el pasado. Es porque... Um, voy a compartir la pantalla en la pizarra. Necesito la pizarrita, pero no la veo. ¿Dónde estás? Aquí. Ok, so el pasado simple, digamos que se divide en el pasado simple con los demás verbos que no sean cero estar. Y el pasado simple con el cero estar. Es como si fueran dos partes. Eh, cuando, cuando quiera que sea, que yo no voy a utilizar el cero estar, la estructura pues sería sujeto, verbo y complemento. Igual que con el cero estar, solo que iba a cambiar eh, el verbo. Eso es para oraciones afirmativas. Pero si son oraciones negativas, utilizamos el auxiliar did, ¿verdad? Para cualquier otro verbo que no sea cero estar. Eh, por ejemplo, dígame un verbo, Luis. ¿Qué? Ah, ok. Uh, uh -huh. Sí, podríamos hacerlo con él, pero ese es un verbo auxiliar y en negativas okay. él tiene su propia conjugación. Uh -huh. uh, take. Take. Ok. Ajá. Podemos decir, por ejemplo, uh, no tomé mi lección de nado ahora. I didn't take my swimming lesson today. Ok, I didn't take my swimming lesson today. No tomé ahora mi, mi lección de, na, de natación. Ahora, si yo quisiera decir una oración negativa, esto es una oración negativa con el verbo swim, ¿verdad? Con el okay. verbo take, perdón. El verbo es take. Y para hacer la negativa uso el auxiliar did not. Uh -huh. Eso no sucede con el verbo to be en pasado. No utilizo el auxiliar de negativo. Sino que eh, ya el verbo mismo solo le agregó el not para hacer una negativa. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si usted quiere decir yo no estuve en clase ayer. Sería I was not. Y se puede contractar. Uh -huh. It wasn't in class yesterday. 
Okay, so I wasn't in class yesterday. So, si se fija, ambos es pasado. Pero el pasado con el verbo to be no utiliza el did o didn't. Ok. Igual en preguntas, sucede lo mismo. Si yo voy a hacer una pregunta con cualquier otro verbo que no sea hacer o estar, voy a utilizar did. Eh, okay. Ajá, por ejemplo, si yo quiero hacer la misma pregunta, ¿tomaste tu lección de nado ahora? ¿Cómo sería? Did you take... Ajá. My, you take el, swimming today? Ajá, en este caso sería la eh, tuya, ¿verdad? Tu uh, clase. Did you take your English, your swimming lesson today, etc. Complemento. Mm -hmm. Did you take your English lesson today? So, porque ahí es el verbo take. take Pero take. si yo voy a hacer una pregunta utilizando el verbo ser o estar, ahí cambia. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si yo le pregunto a usted, ¿estuviste en clase ayer? ¿Qué uh -huh. fue ayer? Mm, ajá, pero si el sujeto eres tú, con you utilizamos. You were. Ajá, pero como es pregunta, vamos a poner el were primero. Okay. Were you in class yesterday? Ok, so ambos son pasado, pero cuando con cualquier otro verbo que no sea hacer o estar, yo necesito poner el auxiliar did. Uh -huh. Y el verbo pues se queda normal, pero cuando es cero o estar, ahí cambia la estructura. No utilizamos el did. Okay. Ni tampoco hay otro verbo, sino que ya él se complementa solito. Sí. ¿Sí? El cero o estar, fui o estuve. Y ya no necesito auxiliar. Y aquí sí, en los demás verbos sí. Entonces, Entonces sí. por eso les decía que son como eh, dividir el pasado simple en tu pasado simple con demás verbos y pasado simple con el verbo to be. Okay. Y si recuerdan las clases de los módulos anteriores, lo mismo pasa en el presente. Está el presente con todos los verbos. Y ahí es donde usan el auxiliar do y does e incluso en questions, ¿verdad? En preguntas también usamos do o usamos does, pero cuando es el verbo ser o estar, no usamos ese auxiliar, sino que el mismo am, is y are es lo que vamos conjugando. Mm. Uh -huh. sí, ¿Y si se recuerdan? Interesante. Hola, ajá. Es como para mí la clave es eso, decir son separados. O sea, el presente simple lo vamos a dividir. Todo lo que no sea cero estar y el presente simple con cero estar. Lo mismo sucede con el pasado. Entonces, por eso es que esto nos ayuda a no mezclar. Porque a veces estamos mezclando el auxiliar Didi con el, el, con el was y were. Eso no se mezcla. Es como son los, en tiempo simple. No, no se mezclan. Okay. Uh -huh. eh, y aplica para el pasado y el presente simple. Es como dividirlo en dos secciones. Presente simple con be. Presente simple con todo lo demás que no sea be. Cero estar. Lo mismo pasado simple. Ahorita ya lo vimos con todo lo que no es referente a cero estar. Y pues ya vamos a empezar ahora con solamente pasado simple con solamente cero estar. No vamos a utilizar otro verbo. Okay. Por la razón que les comento que no se mezcla. Y esa es como la clave para... Uh, no, ya aquí con esto ya podrían hacer libremente los ejercicios de la sección 5, eh, nada más teniendo en cuenta que no van a usar otro verbo ni otro auxiliar, se lo van a ir conjugando was o were dependiendo del sujeto. Ok. Muy bien. Entonces, pues gracias por el esfuerzo, Angélica y Luis, de uh, conectarse a la sección de hoy. Espero que descansen y que disfruten su fin de semana y los veo el lunes. Thank you, teacher. Thank bye you, bye. Teacher. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night, teacher.